This is Twit. If launchers don't work, it's always fun to look for browsers because uh, <laughs> uh, looking for an alternative to Chrome or Opera, I'm always looking for the latest, greatest browser, and I stumbled upon Monument Browser. Uh, have you guys heard of Monument Browser? Because this was new to me. I don't yeah. know. Um, so this is a neat, very neat looking uh, browser that has a bunch of really cool um, uh, options and ways to customize it and things like that um, and interesting interesting features. Um, first and foremost, um, what it does is it's very clean, right? And uh, if you hit the settings button there, um, it pulls up a little settings window. You can swipe up to make that go full screen so you can see all the settings that are there. But you can control pretty much everything down in a very simple to use uh, kind of UI. Um, right at the top of the gate, you can change the navigation mode um, and they offer mobile, desktop, Firefox, Windows Phone, GSM device, iPhone. Like So whatever your navigation mode that you're used to, you can switch to, which is neat. Um, you can customize the search engine, so you can go Google, Bing, DuckDuckGo, um, whatever you would like. Um, and then you can start uh, changing all the different swipes and, and toolbar placement and all this fun stuff. Um, so it's really neat that you're able to uh, customize it to your heart's content. Um, but what they're really uh, touting is the fact that um, this browser uh, has got uh, accelerated downloads. Uh, and it, you can actually have up to 32 connections in the browser, um, and they guarantee that uh, downloads will be very fast and utilize your bandwidth, um, uh, you know, kind of optimize your bandwidth the, the best way it can be. Um, so you can download files simultaneously with this acceleration. You can download files from the browser in the background while still browsing on the web. Um, it's really kind of, if you're doing a lot of downloading via the web, this is kind of like almost like a power downloader browser, which is great. Um, they have a full screen option that lets you use 100% of your display. Um, of course, it's got an um, anonymous mode, so you can go incognito. It's got a night mode. Um, they have a picture in a picture and floating window options, so you can minimize a browser window to be a floating window, um, and you can have multiple windows open on one. So it's pretty great if you have a, if you have a note or a larger, you know, a large um, uh, display. Uh, it's got an ad blocker if that's you know something you're looking for, um, and this they do it all uh, under two megabyte. Which I just think is amazing. the The APK is uh, is less than is less than two meg, which is just fascinating. Wow. So um, if you're looking for an alternate browser, check out Monument. Um, you know, it's got everything you want in a modern browser. Um, when you exit the app, when you exit the browser, actually, Jason, if you um, yeah, hit that power button there in the middle. Uh, you can clear all your data on exit. So if that's something you're concerned about, uh, it protects your data and let, lets you browse uh, privately. Um, I was impressed. It's really fast. It's really lightweight. It uh, gets the job done. It's you know, like I said, it's customizable um, and has a bunch of stuff that I didn't even you know think about being able to do you know kind of. Uh, win, you know, picture in picture or having all those little windows active and that sort of thing. And then the download acceleration is very, very cool. So uh, Monument Browser, it's totally free in the Google Play Store. Check it out if you're looking for a browser alternative. Nice. There's a lot of settings in here. A lot of impressed. settings, right? Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. And so, um, and it's free in the Google Play Store, but you can up the, uh, you can uh, upgrade to premium for just three dollars and forty nine cents. And in doing that, you can support your devs. Um, and then I believe it, uh, it unlocks the ad blocking stuff. I think. Yeah, there's um, there was some yeah. availability of that, and like I have a setting yeah. here to bypass Google AMP pages. Yeah, yeah. The settings was uh, pretty impressive yeah. as far as like a lot of the the blocking. You know, like antisocial, it blocks all of Google, Bing, Facebook, Twitter, other social yeah. networks. Uh, so if you're worried about them collecting your data, you can do that. It changes your search engine to DuckDuckGo. To yeah, you cookies. can. Yeah. Yeah, you can turn on private mode, which deletes the data when you exit. You can um, disable pop-up windows, right? It's just a whole bunch of cool stuff. And yeah, the premium uh, makes uh, uh, makes downloads go faster and improves the ad blocker. So that's what you get for for your three dollars and fifty cents. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a it's a pretty it's a pretty nice little uh, uh, app. If you if you scroll all the way to the bottom of the of the settings, you can see there you can delete save pages, you can delete the cache, clear your history, delete cookies and cache, and delete all app data. So it's it's pretty you know your privacy in mind and it also uh, is pretty flexible. So uh, Monument Browser, I like it. Vote for it in the arena, please. Nice. And this must be the downloads tab. Yeah. Uh, cool. Monument Browser, and it is free. 